I think a lot of it has to do with just sort of life force. I'm not sounding like I live in Northern California, <laughs> but it's like desire and willingness to, to be, to live life and to be honest and, and to, you know, have some ambition. Um, I mean, because fuck, if I ever <clears throat> think, God, I've got to write some new songs to make some money, yeah. I'm going to just shoot myself. Because that's the that's the dumbest reason. To, I mean, I'm going to be a millionaire. I think I'll write songs. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be a, a banker. as a busboy at the time at Peppers at the Falls down there. And so my first two songs were about being a busboy at Peppers at the Falls. And then it just kept going from there. I think I was, I was busing tables there and I got up, I slowly, you know, started getting in with my songs to sit in with the band. And that evolved into the club asking me to sing there instead of bus tables there. And then I just kept, I just loved that job and thought, shit, I'll do this until they make me stop. You know? It's like a, I think in some ways that other people might do a crossword puzzle or something. I, when I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is I grab the guitar and, and, and just as a, as a um, some, most of the times it doesn't turn into something I'm going to leave to home with, but it's still just a, a few times a day, a handful of times a day. I pick up that thing and see if it's got, got anything in it. You know, it's more like a, a cigarette, or some, for me anyway. Like, that doesn't mean they're getting better or worse. They just seem to keep coming, I guess. Take the kids around here, for instance, if you will. They drive around looking for people to kill. Not even for the money, but rather for the thrill. Oh, kids, they can be a handful of kids. I wasn't allowed to get an electric guitar until I practiced the Mel Bay book over and over again, Jingle Bells and a few others, you know, on the nylon string guitar. And so then I got frustrated. I took this old thing out of my grandfather's basement, this reel-to-reel -reel thing with a microphone, and I taped it around the acoustic, and I started banging on it, and this screaming, whatever I felt. I was mad at my teachers, and I was mad at my school, and they didn't sound like Kiss songs. They probably sounded like Sonic Youth outtakes, probably. But um, I started to bash on that and, and the idea that I could write songs and then went back into getting an electric guitar eventually. I went for lessons to try to learn Van Halen and all that. But then I heard the Ramones and I was like, I can do this. Straighten that finger out a lot, the bar chords. Next thing you know, we're calling CBGBs for audition night, trying to get you know our own original songs in. And the idea that you could write songs and you didn't have to stand there and try to learn every Zeppelin lick and that you could create something and then get on stage and do it and it probably weren't so great in the beginning and who knows, it's just something he's kept doing and I guess the Ramones would be that thing, that, that simplicity, punk rock, that like anybody could be in a band and that you could say something, whatever was on your mind, sing about your girlfriend, your parents, whatever, tell them all to go to hell and feel good about it. Come on down, I've been burning all that's left inside of me. Come on down the generations, haunted by the history. I had a girl who shared my name. She said I could fly, but she felt like rain. Tattooed knuckles that spell lonely. Four letters couldn't hold me. Come on down, I've been burning all that's left inside of me. Come on by the when you do finally, either with a band or in your own bedroom, <clears throat> get a song that, that actually works, then then you're you can pat yourself on the back and take the rest of the day off, and, and that's a great feeling.